Hey everybody, it's Actrans19 here with a special video for guys today. Um, something special actually just turned 20 this year. A movie that I grew up with and so did um, my cousins as well. And well, my family in general, my brother, my sisters, um, and um, even some of my cousins also watched these films growing up as well. Um, I know this movie came out when I was um, six years old. And on, no on October 17th, 1998 is when this movie released, and it turned 20 on that day, and I kind of kind of forgot to do a video uh, for that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you, it's going to be four, the Halloween Town films. Um, the first one came out, like I said, October 17th, 1998, um, and they made four films. They made Halloween Town, Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Revenge, Halloween Town High, and the last one, which is Return to Halloween Town. Uh, Return to Halloween Town, I actually do think is better than this movie. Um, mainly due because I like the story, which is done better. Um, it was said that they got rid of Kimberly J. Brown as Marnie, but the person that they replaced her with was an okay actress, and I thought she did a good job. Uh, but every, almost everyone else was there except for um, Sophie and um, Debbie Reynolds. She was unfortunately not in the film of Halloween Town, of, or Return to Halloween Town just pretty much met mentioned. I think she was still alive then. I'm pretty sure. Um, but anyway, Halloween Town 2 is my favorite, then Halloween Town 1, then, Hall then Return to Halloween Town, then this one is my least. Uh, not to say that Halloween Town High is a bad movie. It's still a fun movie to, to watch, especially for the Halloween Town franchise. Um, but I am glad that they at least stopped at 4. Um, just because if they try to make a fifth one nowadays, nah, I don't trust Disney with movies anymore. Uh, back then, though, these movies were fantastic. Um, Halloween Town was... Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Halloween in general, but Halloween Town was just a special film. It was really done well. I liked the characters. I thought the story was really good. It was a little corny, but I, I could deal with corny. I mean, I watch kind of, you know, you know, other TV shows that are very corny as well, um, but still fun to watch. Um, Halloween Town, I think you can get this for, like, maybe 10 fifteen dollars online and same thing with this one about like at least ten and I still need to get returned to Halloween Town and get that on my channel I'm going to do that someday don't worry um, but anyway Halloween Town is just a very great film um, pretty much it stars uh, Marnie Sophie and Dylan with the main cast of the characters um, finding out that they all have powers well officially uh, not officially originally it was Marnie who found out she had um, powers, uh, but then she told Dylan and Sophie overheard, and they all do have powers. It wasn't until the very end of the first film when Dylan used his. Um, Sophie used her magic as well a little, a little bit in the beginning of the film when she was wanting a cookie. Um, let's see. I thought the taxi driver was hilarious in the in the films. Um, I just, I just can't get enough of these. If you haven't seen these already, they're definitely worth watching. They're uh, not expensive to, to get if you don't want to get physical copies. I'm pretty sure they have it digitally somewhere. Um, and I know that Kimberly J. Brown, I've seen a video of her on YouTube uh, um, sometime last year. And it was a video that she made maybe a year before that, like 2016 or something like that. About like an anniversary video for Halloween Town. And she looks just like she did in like Halloween Town High, I think. Like she still looks like Marnie. Uh, she said that she still likes the, the movies, that she likes the, the characters, and that she uh, wasn't in the fourth film. I, mean, I don't remember the reasons why they didn't have her in it. I'm not sure if she was too busy at the time, or if, um, they, it, if maybe her contract was up or something with them. But this film, this, but Halloween Town in general is just such a good movie. If you haven't seen it, I definitely get, recommend them. I definitely recommend them. I need to see if they have any VHS tapes of them. I gotta get those. <laughs> but tell me in the comments below what you guys and girls think about this video. What did you think about Halloween Town, Halloween Town 2, Halloween Town High, and Return to Halloween Town? In order, which ones are your favorite? Mine are 2, 1, 4, 3. Um, but yeah, tell me what, what you think about them, which, uh, what scenes were your favorite in each, and what's your memories with them. See you guys next time, and God bless to all.